welcome back to Computers for the Completely Clueless, and we're talking about money. We're talking about how do we show us the money, Lee? That's what we want to do. How do we how do we manage our money, and how do we use spreadsheets to do that? Well, we want to race through a couple quick examples here and really show you how to set some simple things up, basic formulas. So, up here, I've got my 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 spreadsheet that I made up a minute ago. And remember, we have a column. It's, that's our A. Mm -hmm. Okay, in column A, we have the labels. Right. And in column B, you're going to put values. Right. So I'm just going to put some quick ones in here. I'll put 1,500 there, and I'll put 2,500 there. Now, if I want to add these together, there's a couple ways I can do it. I'm going to do the easiest way here. I'm going to say equals. Now, when you do equals, that's how you have to start a formula. Okay. So I do equals, and I move the cursor up one, and it grabs that cell number. How did you move the cursor up? I use the arrow key. Okay. Real easy. And I'm going to do a plus sign. I want to add that to the other cell. Wow. Now hit enter. It automatically adds it. So all you have to know is the location of the mm -hmm. cell, and then you use some simple symbols. Equal is a formula, mm -hmm. and then you put in the cell value. You don't have to actually put the number in. Right. Awesome. So okay. if I change this, let's say you know this first income up here at the top uh, got a raise. It's no longer fifteen hundred a month. I'm going to change this to. Uh, 1650, watch the third row there, boom, automatically adds it for me. Awesome. So this is where I can do that what if thing. Sure. What if I made a little bit more money? So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do some of my mortgage stuff. I'm going to say 1500 for the mortgage. Mortgage. Yeah, $150 for and the we just kind of We've sort of simplified this, the typical yeah. monthly expenses you might have. And we'll put in some quick numbers here. Food. How much food do you want this month, Ken? Oh, I don't want to eat much, Lee. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do 600. Got to take somebody out. Now, we're going to do a more advanced formula here. Okay. We're going to say equals, and we have all these numbers we want to add, so we want the sum of, and I'm going to open the parenthesis, and I'm just going to move up here. I want the sum of this cell, Okay. and I'm going to highlight by holding down the shift key, and I roll all the way up here to my top one. All right, so you're holding down the shift key and you're using the arrow key mm -hmm. on the keyboard to select all the numbers that should be added together. And frankly, I could have done this easily with just dragging the mouse, too, but I prefer this method. And, and, and you notice it made the range for me. Right, and then you finish the formula. I hit enter. Wow. And it's that fast. And wow. You can go up there. Now, we're all sitting on this value of uh, 2,780. If you look up in the formula bar up here at the top, you see the formula. Okay. So this shows you what was typed in that cell. So what if I decide, oh, shoot, I need to add another uh, expense that I forgot. Maybe I want to add for entertainment. I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to right-click on this this row. Okay. And I'm going to say insert. And I'm going to do uh, entertainment. And over here, I'm going to put in $150 a month for entertainment. And it automatically does the oh, adjustments so, for wow. me. Wow. So it even knew. It even changed the formula. Mm-hmm. Just when you insert it, that's pretty sweet. It does some smart things. Our last thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here to the balance. Okay. And I'm going to say my balance equals, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to grab that cell, my total income, right. minus my expenses. And wow, I'm doing pretty good. I can put that money into savings. What's that? Uh, something that <laughs> we can do in our imaginary spreadsheet. <laughs> Great. Awesome. Savings. What an what a, what a yeah. interesting uh, idea. Now, another thing that you were talking about is what if you wanted to get a loan for a car? Yeah, because loan calculations are really hard to figure out because they can be compounded. There's lots of different ways that they can be put together. So we went back over to the Microsoft website, and we did a search for a uh, loan, basically. Mm -hmm. And these are the results we got. And let's say we want to, in this case, we're going to look at different kind of loans that we might want to get for a car, mm -hmm. all right? We think we're considering buying a car. Well, Maybe you were you, buying a car, I was buying a motorcycle. You are buying a motorcycle, fine. And whatever. there we are. Wow, it's even got a picture of a car. Yeah, sweet. Isn't that cute? I didn't know you could do that. So, how much is, uh, does it cost? Okay. Uh, uh, how much does your car cost? Uh, I want to buy a $22,500 car. Oops. Okay. Uh, how I much money can you put down? For none, your... zero. Oh, no, I have a trade-in, so let's put down a fifteen hundred. Well, trade-in's next. Oh, trade-in. Okay, put zero. Let's put zero you down for that. You don't have any money, but you got fifteen hundred on your trade-in. Right. Your interest rate. Now, let's see. That's what I want to do. I want to go. Let's see. Maybe I want to go to check with the credit union. I want to check with my bank. Well, I'll tell you what. It's a what-if machine. So right. let's just test this out. Let's say you get five point five. Okay. And there you go with that. How long do you want the loan for? Oh, 
Well, five years would be okay, okay, I guess. And there's your monthly payment. It's going to cost you four hundred one dollars and twelve cents a month. Whoa, that's that's more money than I want to pay per month. Let me go. Let's go back up, and maybe I can scrape together a bigger down payment. How would that okay. affect? Well, let's see what that does. You put that in. This is the what if part. It makes it beautiful. Wow. So a thousand dollar down payment saves me twenty dollars a month for sixty yeah. months. That's a lot. That's yeah. actually quite a bit of money. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. What if you could get a better rate? What if you got four point five? Now your payment's down there. I like that. So you can play with this. That's the beauty of a spreadsheet. Right. Once you have the formulas in, and this template already had everything for us, we don't have to know how and to you, run a And you can do the same. You can find the same kind of calculators for mortgages, and you can look at all yeah. sorts of different aspects of how you might want to finance a house or, or another purchase. And really a simple uh, matter of opening Excel, going into yeah. a template, downloading it, and getting started. And like we said, you can do the you can find templates for open office or neo wow. office just as well. Wow, that's really amazing. And and I'm glad we covered that. So uh, Microsoft Excel in this case is what we're looking at. Maybe next week we'll look at open office and yeah. see what we can do there on the free program that, that's uh, available. But making but, a but budget, now not bad. Oh, now it's time to reach over and into the mailbag. Okay. Here we, it's time for our viewer question of the week. Okay. And this week there? we hear from Jeff of Green Acres. Okay. And Jeff says, I get these frequent messages that Windows wants to update my computer. Can I ignore these messages? Should I update when I'm asked to? Are updates really a big deal? I'm really kind of getting annoyed by these things. What do I do? Uh, personal opinion, always update. I, I, I agree. I, I always update. Yeah. And what's, what's the biggest reason that um, you're going to need to do an update? So the company oh, can sell you more money. Take your time, no. uh, cause you issues. What are they trying to do when they're, they want you? They're to trying to help you. In fact, uh, you, you get the same things on a Macintosh, mm -hmm. and usually they update the software. If something right. new comes out or they found a bug in it, they're fixing things constantly, making them better. The, the manufacturer is trying to give you a better product. So doing right. those and updates. So again, if it's a Windows update, update, I think it's especially important yeah. that you keep those up to date. And there are ways that you can manage your Windows updates. What day of the week it will prompt you. Um, and so you can just do a search for Windows Update, and, and there are actually cool. some settings, so it will stop nagging you all the time. But you really got to keep your, your computer up to date because yes, of security important. threats. It's very important that you do it. So, Jeff, we highly recommend that you keep your computer up to date. Yeah. Okay? It usually doesn't take long. Uh, like Kim said, you can set it to automatically download Let's see if we can do it. That. I think we've got just a minute left here. Maybe we have time to go over to the computer and take a quick look at Windows oh, Update. Let's see if we can get that. can remember there. where it is. Oh. I think it's under the Start menu. Mm -hmm. And usually the, uh, the update is under Programs. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I think it's under Accessories. We might not see it here on our computer because we are on a school district computer. Right. And the district but what I would do is I would definitely look under your um, All Programs and Accessories. There's a, a, a program called Windows Update, and it allows you to schedule when your updates yeah. will uh, um, be available to you mm -hmm. and when you'll be alerted. And so that can take some of the annoyance out of it, Jeff. But please, do keep your computer updated. Um, and it actually does everybody a lot of good by keeping them Kim, what if I have a question for you? I think that you should sit right here and ask me. No, well, oh, oh, well. in other words, you're at home watching this show and you want to ask us a question like or Jeff if you're did on today, YouTube. then you can write to us and actually fill out a form that you'll find at palmbreezecafe.com slash questions. Okay, and it's a real easy form. It, it's not like it's a long, elaborate thing. Email address, name, and what's your question? Yep. We'd love to hear from you. And, uh, of course, we'd like to see you back here again on Computers for the Completely Clueless next week. Okay. Thank you.